this is Chris Abraham of Chris Cast. This is episode one. I've named it Sportif. Sporty. Because I'm in the constant pursuit of strength, fitness, lightness, weight reduction, endurance, and the ability to go long distances quickly on feet and bicycle, as well as on a boat on a shell and do that with great aplomb. However, here's the rub, here's the challenge. I'm 350 US pounds. That's like 12.4 million kilos. Let me see, how many, Cortana? Hey Cortana, how many kilos is 350 pounds? I am 158.7573 kilograms. Hey Cortana, how many stone is 350 pounds? I am exactly 25 stone. So, for all of you international people, including you, um, I don't know, medieval Brits, that's what's going on. So. I have any number of challenges and I know that I eat too much and that I eat emotionally and that I'm quite mad that way and um, apparently have willpower in so many ways except that. In addition to that, it's the continuity of workout and business coming in the way and all that other kind of stuff that has made me uh, whatever is the opposite of a good role model uh, and role model has the little um, chapeau above the O because I'm that guy. And um, as a direct result, not only do I have chrisabraham.com, but I've been running a site called rnnr.us forever. I call it run, uh, Runner Us or Runner. Runner. I always call it in a question mark. But it's there that I talk about my constant challenges, my desire to do intermittent fasting and to do low do car keto or one meal a day or one burrito a day or low carb or keto, as I just said, talking about swinging kettlebells and kettlebell studliness and my favorite bicycle, my surly steamroller and my membership to um, Potomac Boat Club, uh, my inability at 350 pounds to be able to not sink any of their boats, even their fat boats, and that challenge as a result. So, as part of ChrisCast, it's obviously gonna be part of that. So I want to know from you, what kind of challenge do you have? I must say that for a lot of my life, I've been between two, 35 and 285, but being 350 pounds is a really new thing uh, that has made me very sick. And I have um, maybe the next podcast will be talking about my challenges with health in the last few years, but it obviously has stuff to do with money and access and taking care of myself and not being looked after and then realizing I shouldn't blame anybody else for not looking after me because I am uh, o solo mio. And the every action has a reaction issue uh, associated with such a thing. So uh, as of a few years back, I was actually uh, DFL, that's dead effing last, and I was doing 5Ks, and I loved it quite a lot. And up until a um, couple months ago, I was going to spin class every day. Um, now I have between 8, 9, 10, uh, 7, 7 p.m. through 10 p.m. every night scheduled off so that I could go do a really nice walk about the city at night and then maybe drop by uh, X Sport, which I still belong to. They're a local boutique gym where I can probably do 5x5, five five, which includes very heavy weightlifting, including deadlifts and all that kind of other stuff that I can follow. So with the combination of my shuffle run walk, 
that I can do for at least an hour every night. Oh, hat tip to Sergei Kryev, because Mr. Sergei Kryev is the gentleman who convinced me that every night before he goes to sleep, he spends an hour walking around his neighborhood, and he says that um, if it weren't for that, he would be crazier and much fatter, uh, reminding me that um, humans were really only required to carry themselves, maybe their children. I, I dare say that my friend's children are basically like uh, kettlebells or, or, or weighted um, duffel bags or any of those other kinds of things that people use for body weight and assisted um, exercises. And children in many ways are just like joining up for, for rucking, you know, wearing a big backpack full of uh, heavy plates or, or um, going hiking because people who carry their lazy kids are effectively doing the equivalent of what, um, oh, was it Hercules who started carrying a baby calf on his shoulders and then it grew up to be a bull and then he was strong? Well, I think that, I think that other, I think that these dad bods are fake. I think that in fact all dads and moms look like Hercules underneath their clothing. Um, so, my desire is to return to that level of fitness. Um, I have no problem working all day on my standing desk, which is good because a couple years ago I was only doing that part of the day because I was feeling exhausted from it. Now I just need to use my treadmill desk to walk all day long. And in the evenings I can get outside, get that breath of air that Sergei Kryev suggests, um, maybe stop by the gym and do some proper stretching or some work on a machine or whatnot. Um, and uh, and you know if I go out if I go out between seven and ten or eight and eleven or even just for an hour or two, I can avoid that messy hour when my body wants to eat um, an entire can of mixed nuts and an entire bottle of uh, red Zinfandel. So it would be um, it would be basically direct replica um, replacement theory of instead of uh, drinking wine and eating chips and, and peanuts, I would be doing something very simple. And I must remind you that um, walking is a full body exercise. You know, it's not like when I'm on a treadmill or when I'm here. It it, it requires walking up steps, dealing with uh, dealing with obstacles. Uh, going up slopes, going down hills, uh, engaging with curbs even, uh, and all the different things associated with um, taking shortcuts. Uh, it's a lovely thing, and I highly recommend walking as a baseline, uh, not as like the lazy person's thing. And as I wrote recently in Runner, it's the opposite of what Hercules did with his beloved uh, giant, uh, giant, um, giant bull. It's the opposite. So I have, by my very nature, uh, I guess a 150 pound bull on my back all the time. Uh, that is basically walking around with my best friend Mark on my back all the time, who's been, I mean, he says he's fat now, but let's say his entire life up until his 45th birthday or when he got married or whatever. Uh, he was 150 pounds uh, soaking wet um, with his girly little figure and his 5 foot 10 girly figure. God, I hope he listens to this. I can slag people because nobody's going to listen to this. I hope Sergey does because I compliment him. Anyway, it's like walking around with Mark Harrison uh, on a fireman's carry over my shoulder all the time. I used to joke that it was like carrying a supermodel on my shoulders, but at, at 350 pounds... It's a 150-pound man, because lean, lean, I guess I'm 190 to 200 to 210. Um, so, yeah, so there's that. So, in response to Hercules, it's sort of the exact opposite, where I will be basically, hopefully, carrying a 150-pound goat, bovine, dog, and eventually that dog will be 125, 100 uh, you know, going, um, uh, Benjamin Button, Benjamin Button, Benjamin Button's a cute name for a dog, or a goat, or a lamb, 
anyway. I don't want to starve an animal, so it literally has to live backwards so that I can say that I'm not starving a happy 155-pound uh, bovine down to being dead and crumbly off my back. So whatever image you want on that, I would be happy to oblige. Some of the tools I use are a, um, a uh, Garmin uh, 920 XT and a Garmin 935 XT, two really nice, lovely uh, GPS watches for my sport. I use a, an amazing Atlan, Atlas wristband too to tr in order to in dashboard in order to track my kettlebell swings and any type of of workout that I do in my apartment. I have any number of kettlebell USA kettlebells as well as um, as well as some other ones. I have a Concept 2 rowing ergometer and a Concept 2 uh, ski erg. I have no reason and I have a giant treadmill desk by lifespan. Uh, I have no a BOSU ball, a Swiss ball. I have a TRX up against the wall. I have uh, an elastic cable thing attached to my table. I have a, a chin-up bar. I have a giant sandbag and a smaller sandbag. There's nothing in the world that I can't do in terms of um, prisoner fitness. I even have a, a very simple Amazon Basics, the most simple um, bench for bench presses and for and for rows and for all that other kind of stuff. So, don't cry for me, Argentina. Don't cry for me, Argentina. I have all the workout equipment. I am not lacking. And if I didn't, I could do push-ups, sit-ups, and squats anyway. Um, I love my Kettlebell USA cast iron bells, but to be honest, I'm very pleased with the new Amazon Basics uh, cast iron kettlebells, even though they look like they've been um, spray painted with an enamel paint, and they have the audacity to be marked in, in pounds instead of kilos. I bought a 35-pound one to help me with my... Sw oh, here's something I didn't mention. Uh, there's an awesome book. I forgot what it's called. Let's see what it's called. Um, swing 90 seconds every 60 minutes. Kettlebell. All right. It's called Get Fit, Get Fierce with Kettlebell Swings. Just 12 minutes a day. Um... And it's super awesome uh, to lose weight, prevent sitting disease, hone your body, and tone your booty. I have it set up with uh, my gym boss every 30 minutes. It has um, one minute and 50 seconds of workout so that I can get from wherever I am in the apartment to my swinging position, get my uh, Atlas wristband 2 on, and then start the swinging. And I generally get between 45 and 63 swings done in that time and hopefully at um, hopefully I'll be able to do 10 of those a day other times I just I completely end up not hearing the stupid beep 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 uh, it's my amazing I have the strongest subconscious ever and my subconscious wants to be lazy I think the worst thing that my I'm not blaming my daddy was a marine but the, lazy, the, the, the worst thing that my dad ever said, because he was so active, his joke was um, something they taught him in the Marines, which is, if you don't have to sprint, run. If you don't have to run, jog. If you don't have to jog, walk. If you don't have to walk, stand. If you don't have to stand, sit. If you don't have to sit, lie down. If you don't have to lie down, go to bed. So... I go straight to the go to bed, take a nap, go to bed, take a nap, drink some red Zinfandel, eat a whole thing of mixed nuts. Uh, good news is I don't have a sweet tooth, so sugary anything doesn't go past these lips, which doesn't mean that I could become a bouncing baby type 2 diabetic if I don't watch myself. So I'm hoping 
that these de facto podcast therapy sessions that you will then join me in. Don't cry for me, podcast listeners. I will not make you so sad. Don't want you sad. Don't want this bad. Eventually we'll give you lots of motivation. Anyway, I wish you well. I'm going to end right now. I'm really sad that the beep, beep, beep noise didn't happen. Uh, I'll make it happen. Here's the sound that I hear every 30 minutes, twice. Uh, Here we go. Listen. Hold on. You don't have to wait two minutes, but uh, you'll, you'll it'll be worth it. Um, check out rnnr.us, uh, also chrisabraham.com. Also, please feel free to... Oh, damn it. This isn't using my bloody awesome... Uh, that's so sad. Well, anyway, I'm using the regular crap um built-in microphone that's associated with this uh, crazy um, HP Envy. That's something I'm going to learn, too. I'm going to learn that uh, after I turn off my computer and turn it back on again, that I really need to uh, use... Um, I need to set back up the Zoom H2. I've been yelling at my computer instead of using my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful H2 microphone. Dommage, dommage. Anyway, you can reach me at Chris Abraham. Uh, you can um, you can call me or text me at plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one. My email is chris at abraham.su. And um, in 34 seconds, there will be the beeping that I want you to hear. But I have to fill the space until then. Oh, I have a company. And I have another podcast. I've started a podcast with my business partner called The Garris Cast. Very creative. And it is at G-E-R-R dot I-S slash podcast. And you can get it on um, all the uh, sites and so forth. Because I think I've submitted them there. And six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, who wouldn't want to get up and do something when that happens, right? That's the worst sound ever. And then after uh, uh, 1 minute 50 or 100 seconds, is that 100 seconds? Then there's another one to let me know that the workout uh, is complete. And um, But I do need to go ahead and I do need to do like 500 kettlebell swings in a row because it doesn't really bring my heart rate up to where it needs to be. Um, in just 90 seconds, right? You need more time uh, in order to... Maybe I should just make the timer longer. How many seconds would you make the timer? Um, how many minutes would you make this this uh, podcast? We're approaching uh, 19 minutes. I think that is just fine. Aloha, mahalo nui loa, ciao, auf Wiedersehen, uh, hasta luego, hasta mañana, uh, and uh, goodbye. I should uh, I should sing you that goodbye song, but I'll I'll I will I will protect you from that now. Three, two, one, beep. Oh, thank you. Wow.